The James Webb Space Telescope is uncovering the universe in an extraordinary way, showing us really stunning occasions. This telescope has been instrumental in upsetting our comprehension of the universe, giving us the capacity to investigate the profundities of the universe. As of late, it has made a genuinely shocking discovery. It has recognized 700 galaxies caught in a black hole, including Stefan's Quintet, a group of five interacting galaxies. We will dive deeper into this revelation and how it influences both us and our conception of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is equipped with a variety of cutting-edge scientific instruments carefully intended to observe the universe at an exceptional scope of frequencies. With a fundamental mirror more than 6.5 meters in diameter, this telescope surpasses its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, in size. This permits the JWST to gather and shine light from celestial objects with unparalleled precision and responsiveness. Instruments incorporate a strong near-infrared camera, a mid-infrared spectrograph, and a steepless spectrograph, which work together to capture images, measure spectra, and study the properties of objects ranging from the oldest galaxies to the planets of our local planetary group. One of the marvels we can find in the universe are black holes, vast entities originating from the gravitational breakdown of massive stars. When a star depletes its nuclear fuel, it experiences a catastrophe known as a supernova. During this interaction, the outer layers of the star are launched out into space, leaving behind a dense core. If the mass of this core surpasses a certain critical limit, around three times the mass of our Sun, the gravitational forces become so intense that they cause a much more pronounced collapse, resulting in a singularity at the center. A singularity is a point of infinite density and gravity which can't be observed directly. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has the capacity to see beyond what any other technology has yet achieved. One of the most amazing discoveries made by this telescope is the existence of 700 galaxies inside a black hole. This finding challenges the traditional understanding of how black holes work. A major feature of a black hole is its event horizon, an invisible boundary beyond which escape becomes impossible, even for light. This boundary marks the point where the gravitational pull of the black hole becomes so intense that not even photons, the fastest particles in the universe, can cross it. Any object or radiation that passes this boundary is inevitably pulled toward the singularity at the core of the black hole. A peculiar property of the intense gravitational attraction near a black hole gives rise to a singularity known as time dilation. As objects approach the event horizon of a black hole, time appears to elapse more slowly compared to observers farther away. This peculiarity, predicted by Einstein's theory of relativity, is due to the warping of spacetime caused by the immense mass of the black hole. The event horizon is not a solid physical surface like the surface of a celestial object but represents a mathematical boundary beyond which the structure of spacetime behaves in a way that challenges our intuition. The existence of an event horizon around black holes makes their direct observation difficult, but this doesn't mean that it is completely impossible. Their impact on the surrounding space can be detected through effects such as gravitational lensing, which is a distortion of light caused by the immense gravity of the black hole. Gravitational lensing is a peculiarity predicted by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity. When massive objects like black holes distort the fabric of spacetime around them, light from distant objects passing close to these massive bodies experiences a bending in its path. This results in a visual bending or amplification of the object's image. Gravitational lensing has become a crucial tool for astronomers in studying not only black holes but also other massive celestial objects. For black holes, this effect is particularly pronounced due to their massive gravitational pull. When a black hole acts as a gravitational lens, it can create multiple images of a single distant object or even form a complete ring of light around itself, known as an Einstein ring. These peculiarities provide indirect evidence of black holes and allow scientists to deduce their properties, such as mass and spin, which are otherwise difficult to measure directly. The phenomenon of gravitational lensing extends beyond black holes and includes other massive celestial bodies like galaxies and clusters of galaxies. These larger structures can also bend light, creating arcs and multiple images of objects located behind them. From our perspective on Earth, this property of massive objects has been used to map the distribution of dark matter in the universe. Dark matter, which doesn't emit or absorb light, can't be observed directly. 
However, its presence can be inferred from the gravitational lensing effects it induces. By analyzing the distorted light from distant galaxies, astronomers can create detailed maps of dark matter, providing insights into the structure and evolution of the universe. One of the most famous examples of gravitational lensing is the Einstein cross, where a single quasar appears as four distinct images surrounding a foreground galaxy. This peculiarity occurs because the light from the quasar, located billions of light years away, is bent by the gravitational field of the intervening galaxy between the quasar and Earth. The observation of such events not only confirms the predictions of general relativity but also provides valuable information on the distribution of mass in the lensing galaxy. These observations help scientists understand the nature of dark matter and the overall mass distribution in the universe. In addition to mapping dark matter, gravitational lensing has been used to discover exoplanets. When a star passes in front of another star from our perspective, the foreground star can act as a lens, amplifying the light from the background star. If a planet orbits the foreground star, it can cause a temporary extra amplification known as a microlensing event. These events have been used to detect exoplanets that are otherwise too distant or faint to be observed directly. Gravitational lensing also plays a crucial role in studying the expansion of the universe. By examining the light from distant supernovae and galaxies that has been lensed by intervening massive objects, astronomers can measure the rate of expansion of the universe. This method provides an independent check on the values obtained from other techniques, such as observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation and the distribution of galaxies. The study of gravitational lensing isn't limited to visible light. Astronomers have also observed lensing effects in other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, like radio waves and X-rays. For example, radio telescopes have detected gravitational lensing of distant radio sources, providing additional data on the mass and structure of lensing objects. Similarly, X-ray observations of galaxy clusters have revealed lensing effects that help map the distribution of hot gas and dark matter within these clusters. These multi-frequency observations are crucial for gaining a comprehensive picture of the universe and the various peculiarities that shape it. High-level telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, are poised to enhance our understanding of gravitational lensing even further. With its advanced instruments and ability to observe in the infrared range, JWST will be able to detect lensing effects that are beyond the reach of current telescopes. This will allow astronomers to study even more distant and faint objects, shedding light on the early universe and the formation of the first galaxies. JWST's contributions to gravitational lensing research are expected to provide unprecedented insights into the nature of dark matter, the distribution of mass in the universe, and the fundamental laws of physics. Gravitational lensing is a powerful tool that has revolutionized how we perceive the universe by allowing us to study the effects of massive objects on the light from distant sources. It provides valuable information on the mass, composition, and distribution of these objects, from mapping dark matter to discovering exoplanets and measuring the expansion of the universe. Gravitational lensing continues to be at the forefront of astronomical research. With the advent of new telescopes and advancements, the study of gravitational lensing promises to uncover even more secrets of the universe, deepening our understanding of its underlying principles. Massive bodies like stars or black holes are particularly effective in causing significant gravitational lensing due to their massive gravitational attraction. Black holes, in particular, represent perhaps the most extreme examples due to their incredible mass and compact size, leading to highly pronounced lensing effects. By the way, have you heard of white holes? The concept of a white hole arises from the mathematical solutions to Einstein's field equations in the theory of general relativity. These solutions suggest the existence of regions in spacetime where matter and energy emerge in a manner similar to how they are drawn to black holes. The distinguishing feature of a white hole is that it only allows matter and energy to flow outward. Nothing can cross its event horizon from outside to inside, which distinguishes it fundamentally from black holes. In theoretical discussions of white holes, intriguing questions have emerged about their temporal properties. For example, it has been speculated that the flow of time inside a white hole could be reversed, raising scenarios that challenge our conventional understanding of causality. One of the most intriguing aspects of white holes is their possible connection to black holes. 
Some scientists have proposed the idea of a wormhole connecting a black hole and a white hole, suggesting that they could be different manifestations of a unified singularity. According to this idea, matter falling into a black hole could emerge from a white hole in a different region of spacetime or even in another universe. This raises the possibility that the 700 galaxies identified in a black hole may have ended up there due to a white hole, and thus we are only seeing part of the story. Furthermore, this idea ties in with the concept of the multiverse, which hypothesizes the existence of multiple universes, each with its own physical laws, constants, and conditions. These universes could coexist alongside our own, offering a wide variety of other realities. Within the framework of the multiverse, the speculation that black holes act as cosmic gateways or connections between different regions of the multiverse or even with other universes is based on the tremendous gravitational force exerted by black holes, which can significantly warp and twist spacetime. The study of black holes and their implications for our understanding of the universe continues to be a frontier of astrophysical research. One of the fascinating aspects of black holes is their role in the evolution of galaxies. It is believed that very large black holes reside at the centers of most galaxies, including our own Milky Way. These supermassive black holes can have masses millions to billions of times greater than that of our Sun. The presence of a supermassive black hole can profoundly influence the surrounding galaxy. For example, the intense gravitational forces near the black hole can disrupt nearby stars and gas clouds, causing them to orbit rapidly and release enormous amounts of energy. This process, known as active galactic nucleus AGN, activity, can generate powerful jets of particles traveling at near-light speeds, which can extend far beyond the physical galaxy. Studying AGN activity is crucial for understanding how galaxies evolve over cosmic time. The energy released during AGN phases can heat up surrounding gas, influence star formation rates, and even eject gas from the galaxy, regulating its growth. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, is poised to contribute significantly to our understanding of AGN by observing these peculiarities across different frequencies with exceptional detail. In addition to supermassive black holes, stellar mass black holes are another fascinating area of study. These black holes form from the remnants of massive stars that undergo supernova explosions. While significantly smaller than supermassive black holes, stellar mass black holes can still have masses several times that of our Sun. They are often found in binary systems, where they orbit a companion star, and their presence can be inferred through the gravitational effect they exert on their companion or through X-ray emissions generated from accretion disks. The study of stellar mass black holes provides insights into stellar evolution and the physics of extreme gravitational collapse. Techniques like X-ray astronomy and gravitational wave detection have enabled astronomers to identify and study these elusive objects more accurately. Recently, the detection of gravitational waves from merging black hole binaries by instruments like LIGO, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, in Virgo has opened a new era in astronomy. These detections allow scientists to observe the violent mergers of black holes and neutron stars directly. Gravitational wave astronomy complements traditional electromagnetic observations, offering a unique window into the universe's most extreme events. These waves are ripples in spacetime caused by the acceleration of massive objects, such as black holes, in asymmetric motions. When black holes merge, they produce gravitational waves that propagate through the universe, carrying information about their masses, spins, and distances. The detection of gravitational waves from black hole mergers has confirmed several theoretical predictions, including the existence of binary black hole systems and the formation of black hole binaries through stellar evolution. It has also provided constraints on alternative theories of gravity and cosmology, further validating Einstein's general theory of relativity in extreme scenarios. Looking forward, future observatories like the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna LISA, will expand our ability to detect gravitational waves from even greater distances and with greater sensitivity. LISA, a space-based observatory planned for launch during the 2030s, will detect lower frequency gravitational waves that cannot be observed from the ground, providing an independent view of the universe's gravitational landscape. Beyond the study of black holes themselves, their gravitational influence extends to the behavior of stars and even the structure of galaxies. 
In dense stellar environments, interactions between stars and black holes can lead to peculiarities such as tidal disruption events, where a star passing too close to a black hole is torn apart by tidal forces. These events produce bright flares of radiation that can be observed across vast distances, offering insights into the properties of both the black hole and the disrupted star. The study of black holes also intersects with key physics questions, including the nature of spacetime and the potential connections between quantum mechanics and gravity. Black holes are unique laboratories for testing the limits of our current understanding of physics, particularly in extreme gravitational fields where classical and quantum effects converge. One such theoretical concept is Hawking radiation, proposed by physicist Stephen Hawking. According to quantum theory, pairs of virtual particles continually pop in and out of existence near the event horizon of a black hole. If one particle falls into the black hole while the other escapes, the escaping particle appears as thermal radiation emitted by the black hole. While Hawking radiation has not yet been directly observed, its theoretical implications have sparked ongoing research into the quantum properties of black holes. The study of black holes also has implications for cosmology. By studying the origin and evolution of the universe as a whole, understanding the formation and evolution of black holes over cosmic time provides clues about the conditions in the early universe and the processes that shaped its development. Very massive black holes, in particular, may have played a crucial role in the evolution of galaxies and the regulation of star formation rates throughout cosmic history. In summary, black holes continue to fascinate the imagination of scientists and the public alike. From their role in the evolution of galaxies to their fundamental nature, connections with fundamental physics and cosmology, black holes represent one of the most intriguing and challenging frontiers of astronomical research. With advances in observational techniques and theoretical models, our understanding of these complex objects is poised to grow significantly in the coming decades, anticipating new discoveries about the nature of spacetime and the physical universe.